Hey guys, it's Justin Tech. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use your iPad as a second display for your Mac. This is a super helpful tool, especially when you're on the go and you need that extra space to get your work done. I'm a producer and I'm constantly video editing on the go, so I've been using this lately and I absolutely love it. So here it goes. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to use your iPad as a second display using Sidecar, which is ingrained in the new OS. I'm gonna show you how to use Sidecar wirelessly, and then you can also use a USB-C to Thunderbolt cable as well. Before we get started, there are some requirements that you'll need to meet in order to do this. So you'll need the correct Mac and an iPad that works with the iPad Pencil. So here is a list of the ones that you can use. For this demonstration, I'm using a MacBook Pro Late 2016 model and iPad 7th generation. Just got it and I absolutely love it. You'll also need your Mac OS system to be updated to the Catalina OS and you'll need your iPad to be on iOS 13. If you meet all of those requirements, you are ready to go. Here's how you do it. First things first, you need the same iCloud account signed in on both devices and handoff turned on. On your Mac, go to the Apple in the top left corner and go to System Settings. From there, you can sign into your iCloud account. Next, go to General and click the Allow handoff between this Mac and your iCloud devices. On your iPad, go to Settings and right up top, you should be able to sign into your iCloud. Next, go to General, Handoff, and turn it on. You also need to make sure Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are both on in your settings for your Mac and iPad. Now you're all set. Click that AirPlay button in the top right corner of your Mac, click iPad, and you should be connected. While we're here, let me show you some cool features real quick. I have my YouTube page up. Sorry, shameless plug, but while we're here, why don't you subscribe? It's free. Click the button right down there and click the bell for alerts. Also, you should totally like this video if you found it helpful. It helps me with the algorithm. Anyway, if you click the green button in the top left corner of an application, you can quickly move it to your iPad or set it to one side. You can also drag it over manually. You can't use the iPad as a touchscreen for a mouse, but what you can do is scroll with two fingers or pinch and zoom. You can go back and forth from second display to normal iPad just by swiping up from the bottom. When you want to go back, just hit the sidecar app. To rearrange the iPad screen, just click the iPad button in the top right corner and click Open Display Preferences. From there, go to the Arrangement tab and drag it to where you want it located. This was all done wirelessly. If you want to keep your iPad charged, you can also connect it directly with a Thunderbolt cable. For my setup, I needed a USB-C cable. I threw a link to it in the description below if you want to buy one. This connection will also be a bit more stable. I've been using my iPad as a second display for a little while now, and I've gotta say it's a really great tool, but sometimes I do have some lag between the two displays, especially when I'm video editing on Final Cut 10. So I recommend not editing in 4K, um, I noticed that there was a lot of lag when I did that, so I went back to 1080p and it was much better. Also, I have another display. If you want like more space to work in, I have this. So this right here is an Asus travel monitor. This thing is really awesome. It's 21 and a half inches and it's really pretty. It connects via USB-C to your computer and there is absolutely zero lag. I'm gonna put a link to this product in the comments below. This is a really great alternative if you want a little more working space than your iPad gives you. I've edited with this a lot on the road and I absolutely love it. This goes for about $250 and it is so worth it. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you enjoyed it, why don't you give it a like right down there. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this and some awesome tech adventures, hit that subscribe button down there. That's all I've got for you today. I'm Justin and I'll take you later. So why don't you subscribe to this channel and click that. Ooh, I got a like on Instagram.